something in this liquor. I'm zooming all the way in. Can't help but stare at you. I got all the words wrong. There ain't no towels in my background. My bathroom ain't even clean. It's real. How people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe just a touch of a hand. But me, I fall in love with you every single day. And I just wanna tell you I am. And I know I can't sing, by the way, at all. The song, it gives me the feels, guys. I think this is gonna be my wedding song. That vine, I'm gonna see if I can enter it. She's just like sitting on a toilet. Sitting on a toilet. Sitting on a toilet. And it looks like I'm singing and sitting on a toilet. Yeah, let me get back to filming. channel so today's video is one that I am very excited to film it's definitely different than anything that you guys have ever seen on my channel but it's addressing a question that I get from you guys all the time I have put so many of you guys on to my most favorite foundation in the entire world I will put a picture of it right here it is the covergirl aqua smooth foundation and a lot of you guys went out and bought it and put it on your face and always say the same thing to me how come it looks so different on you on me it applies blotchy it gets shiny throughout the day it does not last long at all and when you apply it it looks like you basically airbrushed your face now anyone that I've seen comment that on any of my recent videos I have said sit tight I have a video coming up that I think is going to help you so so much so any day that I'm getting ready because this is definitely not every single day it's only on the days that I'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup before I even get to the hair and makeup I kind of do these steps leading up that I feel will get my makeup and my hair looking good and stay looking good I kind of like to think of it as priming and prepping my canvas before we get started so I really hope that this video will help a lot of you guys out if you have any questions at all as always, leave it down below. I try to get back to each and every single one of you guys. Be sure to follow me on my vlog channel to pick up on a ton more tips and tricks of things that I do almost every single day. And if you guys are interested in seeing and knowing how I get my makeup and hair looking and staying on point, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's get started. Let's ignore the fact that I have makeup on in the shower. And yeah, it's a little bit weird that I'm wearing a bra, but you guys have seen a lot more in my how to get bigger looking boobs video. I will link that one down below just in case you guys are interested in that so we are going to jump into the shower I'm gonna remove my hair obviously from my ponytail not remove my hair <laughs> basically I'm going to drench it and then I'm gonna be starting off with my favorite shampoo at the moment this is by Isalon it's called their big love volumizing shampoo you guys know that I have extra limp fine very stringy hair so any volume that I can get I will take it the more volume basically the more better so I'm just working it in my hands and I'm going to scrub paying special attention to my scalp I really want to get rid of the oil and any buildup then I take a second pump and I like to put that on my ends and just work that through the same exact way 
Here I'm just showing you guys really how much I work it in. I feel like it's very important to massage your scalp. It also promotes new hair growth and all that good stuff. And here I am just rinsing it out. I love that I have this little handheld thingy majiggy in my shower. It makes my life so much easier. And now we are jumping into the conditioner. So this is also by Isalon and it's called their Big Softy Volumizing Conditioner. I love this conditioner so much because it really does condition my hair. I feel like it makes it look extra silky, extra healthy, but it does not weigh down my hair. So after I put it in, I put this little clippy up and I leave this in anywhere between five to seven minutes. And after that, I rinse out with cold water. And if any of you guys are interested in the eSalon products, I actually have a link down below so you guys can get 50% off of any product on their site or you can get three for $15. All right, and here you guys will see three Holy Grail products that I basically cannot shower without. So I have my favorite cleanser by First Day Beauty, my oatmeal because I do an oatmeal mask every single day to prep my skin. I will have a video all about that down below and my favorite soap and glory scrub. And then this is my jojoba oil. Basically what I like to do is use this kind of like as a body conditioner. I like to use it all over my arms and also on the cuticles of my nails, on my hands, and I take whatever is left over and just put that on my hair, only on the ends. Here I'm taking a clean toothbrush and I'm just getting rid of any dead extra skin on my lips and I am a fan of shaving my face. It makes a huge difference. I know it sounds weird you guys, but don't knock it until you try it. So we are going to film the rest of this video, not in voiceover style. I really prefer talking in my videos instead of voiceovers, just because I feel like they are very impersonal. So, or in, in per, impersonal or impersonal. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna do the rest of this video sitting down talking to you guys just like you're my friends here talking in my room with me. And I have absolutely nothing on my face right now. Just the steps that I showed you guys before is what I just literally finished doing. My hair is definitely au natural. It's um, still damp, so it's still drying, so try not to mind that. So this is definitely Mami Chula in her natural habitat. So the first thing that I wanna recommend to you guys after you sit down, after you did everything that we already did in the bathroom, this is totally something that only I would mention because it's not really typically what you would think I would recommend. But I just want to throw it in there because I do feel like this is an important thing. So vitamins. You got to take a daily vitamin every single day because I feel like a daily multivitamin has vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin D, E, all the vitamins that you need for every single day. I pick up the cheapest one from Walgreens. I really don't know if it's important, if it's name brand or not. These are the ones that I take every single day and I actually don't even remember if I took mine this morning. So I don't know if I wanna double up and take another one right now. And the only other vitamin that I take every single day, this is the CVS brand and these are cranberry pills. And you guys might be like, why are you taking cranberry pills? But cranberry pills actually help your urinary tract and your immune system. And I've done so much research online about skin and acne and when your immune system is kind of backed up and your urinary tract is backed up it actually leads to breakouts on the face so it's really good for overall women's health but then on top of that I feel like if everything is working good on the inside then we're gonna be looking good on the outside so hopefully that makes some type of sense to you the next step I don't want to be that annoying person that says this but water hydrate 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 I did not have any water today mm. What I like to do is actually usually set a glass of water right next to my nightstand so that when I wake up in the morning, the first thing that I do is drink water. It does a million and one things for your skin, for your body, inside and out. Water is the way to go. All right, I am so dying to get into this because my skin right now, it's kind of combination skin because of the weather change and it's really, really dry and parched at the moment. So I am like dying to jump into my routine. So the first thing that I grab for and I look forward to using this stuff is kind of like a, I don't know what to call it. On the packaging, it says that it's a micro renewal hydrating mist and it's called Renewed Hope in a Jar, and this is by Philosophy. So this is my first step. I spritz this all over my face, and basically it's just more hydration. So that's what I'm gonna do because I've been dying to do this all morning. Here we go. Ah, oh, yes, it feels so good. So before I even let that dry, that spray dry on my face, I immediately jump into the next step, which is my moisturizer. You guys already know, I am such a broken record in my videos because when I find something that I love, I have no need to go out and find something else because I'm in love with this product. I don't need to look for another moisturizer. So this is by First Day Beauty, the Ultra Repair. Oh, you guys know that I always do this in every single video. The Ultra Repair. 
why do I always want to call it Repair? First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair... <laughs> Y'all, I can't. Ultra Repair Cream. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to slather this all over my face. This stuff has oatmeal in it. It's amazing for skin that has eczema, psoriasis, irritated skin, all that. All that, all that, all that. Right after that, we're going to jump into our under eye moisturizer. This is such an important step. You definitely want to get an under eye moisturizer that is specifically for under the eyes. And I've learned in my trial and errors when I've used really goopy, thick, highly, highly moisturizing under eye, like nighttime under eye moisturizers, in the morning time, my makeup definitely creases, like my concealer underneath the eyes, and it just does not make it look that good. So you definitely want to use one that's on the lighter side. My favorite one at the moment is this Chamomile Eye Therapy by Made From Earth. It's the weirdest thing ever because it actually, it smells like pot, which is not the best smelling thing ever, but I guess that's the chamomile in there, but uh, yeah. It really helps to keep that under eye area just smooth and plump and healthy. All right guys, almost done, two more steps. I know it seems like we're doing a million things and then we have to go on to doing our makeup, but I promise you that once you kind of get into the swing of things and have a routine, you just reach for these products, one, two, three, and you don't even think about it and you do it in under three minutes. So the next product that I'm going to be using is a primer, but you guys know that I have the most sensitive skin ever and primers, especially silicone based primers just do not react well with my skin. And although they really do help for my makeup to lay down extra flawlessly and smoothly and I look like I have no pores and my makeup lasts a lot longer I find that it tends to break out my skin and I'm just not willing to take that chance like I don't care how flawless you make my makeup look if you're going to give me three pimples tomorrow morning it's not worth it so the way that I actually solve that problem is by using a primer water this kind of has mixed reviews and I definitely understand that because it's not going to give you that same exact finish that a silicone based primer is going to give it doesn't really blur out your pores as much it doesn't really help your makeup to last as long but you know what it's better than not using a primer at all so I have been using this pretty much ever since it came out this is now my second bottle I just picked this one up and I'm just going to spritz it all over my face the same same way that I did that hydrating spritz. This is basically just going to act as my primer before I apply my makeup. All right, so make sure to let all of that dry. I like to give it at least a good five to seven minutes. I know, I know it sounds like a long time, but I just, I really like my products to sink in before I go ahead and apply my makeup. And of course, you don't wanna to forget to prime your lips, especially if you're like me and you're obsessed with liquid lipsticks because those basically wreak havoc on your lips and they make them dry and crusty and flaky and dehydrated, and not all that pretty looking. So what I have been using lately is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I like the tinted version just because, I don't know, I just like tinted things. And I apply a little tiny bit onto my lips, rub it in. It looks really red at first, but once you like massage it in, you're good. So this is how I prepare for my makeup and how I prepare for my hair every single day. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you wanna see an updated skincare routine or a get ready with me morning edition or follow me around morning routine, any of those type of videos, just let me know because I would love to do them for you. Now I'm gonna go let this soak in and then go do my face because I'm gonna go have a little trip to Sephora today because I think I deserve it and I'm in the mood. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah, mwah, love you, bye. Did I have this little piece of lotion there the whole entire time? Really, really bro. I'm back, I just wanted to quickly jump back in and let you guys know, I wanna zoom you in really quick. This is my makeup and hair after a very, very sweaty yoga session, two hours long, yoga, meditation, and Tai Chi. And you guys can see that there are no signs of my makeup fading, nothing getting blotchy. I mean, there's a little bit of shine, but that's because I go overboard with the highlight though. Hair is pretty much in check and we're good to go. A lot of you guys don't know that before I jump into my morning filming routine that I do actually get ready in the morning, then I go to yoga and then I come back and film and I never have to redo my makeup or hair. So it works. Definitely know if you give it a try, please go over to my vlog channel and subscribe because it's popping over there. I love my vlog channel. I love my vlog fam. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that you picked up a little tip or two and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah.